Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Jill Norton, a former Belmont School Committee member, and Amanda Fernandez, who is an advocate for Latinos for Education. They're both organizers of Belmont's new Family Engagement Network. Amanda, Jill, thanks for joining us. Jill, let me start with you. Can you explain what the Family Engagement Network is and who created it? The, the Belmont Family Engagement um, Network is a, uh, a new organization, an independent organization, all volunteer led, um, that was formed by um, a group of parents, all who have backgrounds in education, public education, and who, um, who wanted to provide an opportunity for parents to be more engaged in um, decision making in Belmont, um, just in the Belmont public schools. Um, and we found it actually before the pandemic. We were just getting organized before the pandemic, really excited about the um, opportunity that the opportunities that will come with redistricting when we have new school buildings and it changes the culture of all of our school buildings. Um, and so that was our organizing uh, idea, our, our inspiration. Um, and since then, we've just identified that there are a lot of opportunities for parents to weigh in and be um, co-creators of, um, of a lot of what happens in the Belmont Public Schools. And so hopefully our organization will provide a platform for, for families to see a way in um, to be collaborators in those conversations. Amanda, the, uh, the network Mm -hmm. It has a big event coming up on uh, uh, January 27th. Can you tell us uh, uh, what that's going to be? Sure. So thank you again for having us today. We're very excited about the possibilities of what the Belmont Family Engagement Network can, can do and offer. And so with that said, our first event is actually part of a series of events that we'll be holding over the next few months all with the intent to ensure that family voice is included in planning that is currently happening and visioning that is currently happening in the district regarding the future of education within the Belmont Public Schools. So these community conversations will be building off of one another as a way to collect, to uh, hear from and make sure that we're collecting information, synthesizing the information and making sure that it's incorporated into district-wide decision-making relative to the future of schools in Belmont. It's forward-looking because uh, we know that the pandemic will not last forever. And yet our schools and our students um, must be supported by an enduring institution that our public schools are. So the first event that we're holding is coming up right around the corner on January 27th at 7 p.m. It will be about an hour and 15 minute uh, session in which we will be mainly hearing from families because that's what this is about. We're not gonna do a lot of talking, but what we will do is a, a lot of listening to one another as community members about the hopes we have for our students, for our families and our community relative to education here. And that will be the beginning of the building blocks that we need to start the work of family voice and engagement in the district. If someone is interested in participating in that event, what do they do? So very simply, uh, we have a web page, and it's www.belmontfen, as in family engagement network, .org. And right there, uh, when you open up to the homepage, there is a link to RSVP to our event. We've posted signs all over the community where you can actually take your cell phone, and uh, it has a QR code, which is really exciting technology for someone like me that you can put your <laughs> phone up to a sign and it will take you to our registration page. And we've also have an op-ed from Jill in the Belmont Citizen um, today that has information about how to find us. So we encourage all members of the community to attend, 
It's important that we have diverse voices. We want to hear from families that may not normally uh, show up on Facebook, may not normally engage in school committee meetings for various reasons. And we'd love to have a wide variety of families and voices. Jill, I'd like to come back to you for a minute. Uh, uh, I've heard the, well, by its very name, the Family Engagement Network uh, being thought of and described as a mechanism to generate opinions from the community, so from the grassroots up. I've also heard it described as a think tank. And uh, can you talk to us about which of those uh, uh, more is the more accurate description? Hmm. That's a great question. Um, and as we're a new organization, so I think we are still living into what that, what that distinction is. I think um, we would like to be both. Um, so we, we see ourselves filling an, an uh, immediate need right now, which is to let families um, talk to each other and, um, and lift their voices to district leaders. Um, but we also bring a lot of um, experience and education. And, um, and so we see ourselves as potentially being helpful in um, weighing in on some of the decisions that, that are coming at the district level. Um, wherever helpful. I don't think we're going to be trying to um, artificially insert ourselves into conversations, but I think we want to um, we want to be helpful, and ideally, we'll support the school committee and the district in um, in thinking creatively about what the future could look like in Belmont. And, and tell us, uh, Amanda. Let me come back to you. Tell us who the the we is when you look at the group of people involved. There's really a lot of expertise, it seems there. But can you tell us about that group? I certainly can and proud to share more about the group. Um, while, while Jill and I may have been the, the moms who were having conversations about education for the last few years, uh, we've been joined by uh, three additional experts who have had a wide variety of education experience in addition to the two of us, uh, Jeff Liberty, Emily Rodriguez, and Martha Loftus are all community members and parents of students in Belmont Public Schools. And between the five of us, we've been meeting for many months to really put this vision together about what this group might accomplish. And so uh, while we have um, gosh, we, we added it up on over 100 years of collective experience in education. We know that that experience um, is only a part of this work because the families and their voices are really what needs to be front and center because as the research indicates, families are vital partners to school and district improvement. We know our kids best. And that's really what we want to highlight and, and put forward. So as Jill had said, we kind of want to play both roles in that, look, we, we do have expertise and we can sort of uh, ed, inform in ways uh, that, that will be hopefully helpful in that we're, we have the pulse on things happening across the country, across the state and other communities that can help inform how we implement and what we do relative to what our families want. And that, that's really what we hope to accomplish. And, and that's what the expertise is part of it that this group brings. But also we know how critical it is to have the diversity of family voices really be at the center of what family engagement work is in Belmont. And Jill, let me extend that uh, for a minute, coming back to you. It, it seems like it's easy to think about this in the abstract. Uh, can you give one specific example of, of where the Family Engagement Network might be able to provide uh, insights to help guide the, the school? I'd be happy to. Um, we, one of the things that we've talked about that's um, one of our top priorities is um, helping to um, bring families together to think about the planning that goes into the, the um, district reconfiguration work. So uh, ideally we would, um, we would help, we would help and sit alongside the district as those plans evolve and sit alongside educators so that rather than having the, um, 
the district staff and educators do all of that work and then present it to families in the community, we would be along, walking alongside them while that work is happening and, um, and working collaboratively along the way so that when that plan comes forward, it is truly a collaboration between the families who, who it will impact and students it will impact um, and the best work of the, of the professionals in our district. Um, so that's one example that we see um, in, the, in the relatively near term that we might be able to be helpful. That's great. Thanks for bringing us up to date. Uh, the first community conversation again on January to, uh, January 27th, and you can uh, find out more information about that on the Family Engagement Network website. We've been joined today by Jill Norton and Amanda Fernandez, uh, organizers of Belmont's new Family Engagement Network. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.